Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know uh, this is another nursing topic that I have to put in uh, in my YouTube channel. And uh, this is actually a good channel. I have to put something that is relevant to my uh, life. And this is one of it. And uh, I have to uh, discuss what's going on with the current trends here in uh, the practice here in the United States. A lot of uh, nurses here are actually it's kind of like uh, fed up of what the situation is with regards to uh, bedside care. So even if you ask anybody, they will say like, oh, I'm tired of bedside already. And I want to go to uh, another, you know, another level of the nursing practice, maybe going somewhere or another branch of nursing. And uh, that's why the one that's working in the hospital are having a lot of uh, turnovers or how do I say it? Like, uh, you know, a lot of people are leaving in the hospital and then they constantly hire and hire new nurses, which is expensive if you're hiring and training another nurse. And, uh, you know, and then you're just gonna stay there for a while, for the bunch of day they leave. It is, uh, you know, financially a problem, uh, you know, in the hospital or the budget of the hospital. So we're gonna talk about why nurses are leaving the bedside care. So I would like to start, I know it's not good, <laughs> but uh, you know, if you're working in the hospital, you got a lot of uh, patient assignments, and then even if you have nursing duties, you know, you're, you're giving medication, you are, you know, reviewing all the doctor's orders, checking if it's the correct one, you know, and then aside from that one, you're getting all the calls. And even if you have a tech that is with you, uh, they usually call you still, you know? They, you got, you're preparing medication, and then the, the tech will call you because they need to clean a patient, and uh, you have to, you know, you have to help them too. So, aside from being a nurse, which is a lot already, you have a lot of responsibility, you're still doing tech work too. If you're doing two jobs, at the same time and, uh, and believe me they will always call every time they go to the patient and they have to do something they will always call and aside from that you have to remind them that you have to take the vital signs all the stuff that you need to, to do you have to tell them still you know you're lucky to have a good tech you know? but most of them unfortunately I'm not saying techs are, are bad but what I'm experiencing, it's, it's yeah, going there. So, uh, you're doing two jobs. And uh, while the common trends right now, all the hospitals are uh, trying to be an affiliate or being accredited to a uh, sort of like a, you know, like organization. But if you're accredited to that, you're kind of like on the upper side, you know like uh, being a medical hospital uh, so when the, the the team that certifies the hospital goes to the hospital and visit they check everything and then they check the the numbers if you know falls are getting better or you don't have any infection with regards to the pick line or any central line that the patient has or if there's uh uh, you know, like infection uh, with regards to the urinary catheter. So all those numbers, aside from the patient satisfaction, they, they're going to check everything there and they're going to add additional work for you. So for example, uh, they're doing service. So when a patient uh, is approached by the people who does the service, even the managers, um, 
during the day they ask the patient if the nurses are doing their rounding and uh, the patient will say uh, no they don't they're not doing it actually rounding is when you go inside the group and check them and for sure all of us goes there not even hourly but more than that you know frequently all night or all shift but then it's not visit or it's not check that they're using it's called rounding so what happens is that when the manager interviews the patient the patient will say no the nurses are not doing it so you, the nurse in the hospital have a lower score and then you're gonna add that one they're gonna do a lot of stuff that we make sure that the numbers go high so aside from your nursing duties a lot of uh, documentation and paperwork are added to your work one thing that I can add to is that even me myself yeah, it's been my experience that uh, the expectation of the patient's family is different from the patient and there are more demanding in the patient so um, a lot of families call and honestly they're all rude I know that you know their situation is also uh, you know difficult because they have a family member that is sick here but then you know they don't have any breaks sometimes you know they don't just say it all out especially here in the States so for those Filipino people or Filipino nurses specifically you have to be really you know <laughs> like really tough in the heart you know because what they're saying it's it makes the people cry here you know they say bad stuff and they say the f word and if not we're not really filipinos are not really you know uh exposed to that kind of word and it's it hurts right but here's just normal so you have to do an adjustment too and uh, there's actually a seminar that we had before when i was new here and it's called acculturation seminar where you get familiarize all the culture here and so that you will not be you know you will not be in shock or something like that you know you'll not be surprised of what the people are doing here all the people here are outspoken uh, they, you know but you know being a professional and especially as a nurse we always try to be like proper all the time but then sometimes it's just it's just too much so people are say like i'm done with this you know i'm gonna go find another work which is you know you know you're a nurse so it's your mission but some people are not really uh, tough like that and they leave and for those people for those nurses who have been doing this for years and years and they're kind of like on the old you know age <laughs> they can relate to this doing this job is gonna hurt your back you know you get injured I have a, a video prior to this that I got injured too so it's you know it's a it's a sad thing because you're you're, you're doing your, your your mission you know you want to help people but sometimes you get injured too and then even if you're just turning a patient here and you're not doing uh, proper body mechanics or sometimes the hospital doesn't have any equipment so they don't have sabina or they didn't have a ceiling lift um, you get injured and actually you know my body is having a lot of you know injuries already I don't know if I can do this you know for a long period of time I don't know what's the next thing that I'm gonna do uh, am I gonna do this for another decade or two I don't know <laughs> because I got a lot of uh, you know issues with my back already unfortunately especially like if, if you're the guy you're the only one who's always like being called you know so that's one part of it and uh, yes unfortunately and I will not make this long um, the last one is that uh, being a nurse they say you know you have good pay actually it's not being a professional nurse your experience you've been working uh, to a lot of departments already compared to the occupational therapist or physical therapist 
we're not even half of their salary. You know, so, and then especially if you're new, if you are a contract nurse here, some people are just having, I think the minimum right now is like 22 to 27 per hour here in the States. So just imagine that. And then uh, some are like above 50, you know, it, it depends on the state, right? But I'm just basing it to Illinois and Maryland, what I'm familiar with. So the pay is not really that high, you know? Uh, you've been doing your job aside from the physical work and the heart that you're giving you also have your intellect and it's not being compensated well unfortunately because you know they can always fight another nurse and uh, unfortunately you know uh, that's the way it is and nobody's really fighting for us you know, the, uh, the politician should do something about it, or maybe the the head of uh, the nursing organization should uh, do something about it, so that people will not be bedside care. And uh, currently, right now, because of these reasons, we don't have a lot of staff, so we are getting a lot of patients, a lot of responsibilities right now, because we don't have any staff. You're doing two jobs at the same time, and then plus, they don't, you know, if, if you're so hectic, so busy with, 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 the, with the current situation, they still give you another patient, and give you another patient. And, you know, I, I just hope that they're doing the acuity assignment well, but then sometimes it's not. So, not enough staff, and it's so unfortunate. So there you go. I'm not really discouraging people to be a nurse. Uh, it's just that, uh, you know, if you watch my channel and you're new here in the States, at least you know what's going on and you know how to adjust and just do your best because we are here for our mission to help our patients and make them better. So th that's going to be it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope gonna stay for another nursing topic <laughs> which no one watches anything they like to watch my motorcycle videos or the other stuff but this is part of me okay so this is kind of to our end thank you very much for watching and until next time see ya